Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back to this week's Hot Stocks Outlook for October 13th, 2017. Hope you're all having a great week out there in the financial markets as we have stocks really starting to break away from the pack. A lot of these correlations breaking down, some stocks separating from the pack, and it's really opening up some really great trading opportunities here. So uh, we're gonna start this week by taking a look at Caterpillar, Pool Corp, American Express, and then really a theme here with what we're seeing with things like Spartan Motors, John Deere, Briggs & Stratton, we will get all into that, but I definitely encourage traders to watch some of the previous Hot Stocks Outlook videos so you can see how this approach works through time and uh, see how we're able to bring in markets, really uh, adjust and adapt with the benefit of these tools that we're looking at here. So uh, here in Caterpillar, what we're able to identify, and, and this being all the daily bars and candles going all the way back to really mid-August, is we've gotten a crossover between this blue line and the black line that you see on the chart there. Now, the black line is simply just a regular simple moving average. So it really just summarizes what's already occurred in the market over a certain period of time. But what we're able to do is compare that to this predicted moving average. So this blue line, which is actually generated via the artificial intelligence and neural networks found within the software. So it's really doing that heavy lifting and comparing essentially a lagging, simple moving average to a prediction of where those prices are expected to move next. So this is very important for traders as they're able to identify, okay, well, when has there been essentially a trend change? When is that prediction moved above the existing actual moving average. So we're able to identify that this market is going to start trending up. And as long as that blue line stays above the black line, it's essentially still forecasting that the market should move higher. So really the more separation you get between those values, really the stronger that trend forecast is. Now, in addition to that uh, really accurate trend forecast, those predicted moving averages, we also have this indicator at the bottom. Now, this is the vantage point predicted neural index and it's an extremely accurate two-day indicator. So really only looking two trading days ahead, and of course updating every day as it moves forward, which is allowing traders to really know what to anticipate in the market over a given period of time. So you know what we're able to recognize here is, okay, well, if this market's in an uptrend, you see our neural index you know, projecting strength as that trend comes through, well, we wanna get into the market and essentially try to hold that position as long as that trend remains up. And we see that, okay, well, the market's moved up over 12% over just the past 35 trading days. And you see, you never get that blue line crossing below the black line, getting you out of the market. But here's the really exciting part is, you know, uh, Vantage Point and the technology here, you know, it's not a trading system, it's really a forecasting tool. So it's constantly looking out at other markets, how they affect the target market that you're trading, and then forecast future prices through these indicators. So once you recognize that, okay, well, the trend is up, essentially we wanna get long the market after this trading day here, you're also actually provided a predicted high and low for every trading day before it occurs. You can see that this trading day hasn't been populated yet, but when you have that information before the trading day occurs, essentially a range of your expectations for you know where you should be trying to buy the market, where you should be trying to take short-term profits, you can see just how accurate this works over time where we recognize trend direction up, we could really only be going along the market and we're looking to buy at these predicted low levels. And you see when the market comes and taps these levels, generally it's not even a day or two later, usually intraday that the market is already trading higher off of those levels. And so that's what you really wanna do is recognize that, okay, well, the trend is up and now I have these tools to guide me moving forward on where do I wanna buy intraday? What's a good intraday price? Should I expect some uh, sideways action or weakness over uh, you know, the couple day periods, but still recognizing that that uptrend is still in place. So we just see really great opportunity here in Caterpillar market up 12% so far, but it's really more about the process, the approach and the tools and really setting up a system to do this day in and day out. So uh, we come over to pool core here and we see, okay, well, same thing. Uh, able to recognize that the trend has shifted to the upside and our neural index you see over the course of this strongly they're up at a one for the duration of when you're really looking to take that initial entry into the market. So in a very simple fashion, what this suggests is, okay, well, let's again use those predicted ranges, right? We wanna know, okay, at what prices should we be looking to try and uh, really participate in this uptrend? So we again roll this forward and you see how these intraday prices 
just work extremely well over the course of the trade. You see, you actually get that early pickup almost perfectly a couple days into the trade so that you're buying this market off a trend reversal and a trend trade down at 102. Now, once we move up and you see the volatility really starts uh, uh, increasing here, but you see how quickly the software adapts where we break a little bit lower on this day, but look how quickly these predicted lows are now again guiding you on how you wanna manage this opportunity. So really nice tools here to guide you moving forward. And it's really a toolkit that's going to adapt and adjust with those changing market conditions. So that when you get into pool core all the way down at 102, you're gonna understand when you should hold on to those positions and keep riding that trend. Because one of the worst things you can do in markets is get out of a trade too early and really sacrifice you know, really explosive gains. And I'm sure a lot of traders who have gotten out of some of the trends uh, that are existing currently now in the market are really kicking themselves trying to get back into those trades and, and really missing out on that value. So uh, moving over to Amex here, another you know, great example of what we're seeing as far as markets moving into uptrends. Again, really recognizing back here, time to get long. And you're seeing this just all over the market and similar stocks. And that really allows you to focus your attention on a particular sector and really exploit it, or really uh, execute that trading strategy. Um, but again, here in Amex, looking to get long from this point on, so we bring in those predicted lows and predicted highs and lows. You see the neural index showing strength over the course of this entire move, except for right here, which coincidentally, you actually got a couple days of weakness uh, after that signal came through over the subsequent next couple of days. But you can really just see how accurate the entirety of the forecast is, is up direction, pretty much up the entire way, buy at these predicted low levels is where you wanna be uh, getting into the market as an intraday trader there, or adding to the uptrend. So when you get a really nice entry and you've, you've uh, uh, really gotten profits uh, behind you, so to speak, so the market's moved up, you can trail up stops, look to add more, sort of pyramid into that position and really make a ton of money when these trends really break out and go. So a uh, really nice opportunity in Amex and you see about four entry points that would already be in profit as the market moved up about six or 7% just over the past 20 trading days. So a uh, really nice move there and just a great example of how, you know, regardless of the market, if it's a very volatile, cheaper stock, if it's a slower moving, a higher price stock, it's obviously all about having a forecast and, and understanding how to adjust in those environments to get the best of these moves. Uh, here in Spartan Motors, really great opportunity, which I actually want to, uh, we're really revisiting from now a few weeks ago. We touched on Ford, Spartan Motors, really seeing all this strength in the markets that I say essentially anything with a motor was looking pretty good as far as trend forecasts moving to the upside. So what we're able to identify was all the way back here in Spartan Motors, that was the time where you recognize the trend reversal and it's time to get long. So you're buying at these predicted low levels as this trend starts to develop and move higher but you see, even over just the past couple of weeks, so you know, since we brought this market in, which I think we covered it probably somewhere back here, you see moving forward through time, the software is constantly adapting. So you have a big up day, look how quickly those predicted lows really adapt to get you at really great intraday levels to keep buying that market and keep exploiting that trading opportunity. So you know, here's an example of an $11 stock we're just over the past couple of weeks, you bought some at 11, 1160, uh, 1180, and the market's moving up towards 1240. So all those short-term trades are most likely hitting your short-term profit targets and making you money as you stay in line with the forecast and keep essentially executing that trading approach. So uh, Spartan Motors, just a monster, monster trade here. And of course, these are the sorts of trades that you wanna make sure that you're not getting out of the position too early. Cause you see, look at all this strength from the neural index saying, stay in this trade, stay in this trade, neural or uh, crossovers to the upside and, and saying, just buy at those predicted lows if you wanna add uh, along the way as this trade moves up. But 38% move in just the past 34 trading, it's not even two months of time, market's up 38%, so just spectacular opportunity. And we've just seen this all across the market. So really briefly, I wanna come in here and show some more of these markets where you see John Deere, same thing. About a month ago, we get this crossover to the upside, bring in those predicted lows, and you know whether it's John Deere, whether it's Spartan Motors, it doesn't matter, because the software, again, is, is really updating and, and uh, uh, adapting itself as the market trades and move forward so that you can evolve and adapt with the market. Because when we get into trades back here at you know 116, 117 off of the crossover, 
we want to know how to adjust our position moving forward and really get the best of it, uh, manage that position as effectively as possible. So that's what all these tools do is work as a forecast, really keep you uh, on the right side of the market and, and managing things very efficiently as you have all this information before the trading day occurs. There's none of this intraday discretionary sort of stuff going on. Uh, here, Briggs and Stratton, you see the same thing. So when you see things like Briggs and Stratton, John Deere, Spartan Motors, Ford, all these companies showing crossovers to the upside, that's sending you a good signal of where do you want to focus your attention? So whether you trade any of these, Spartan, Ford, whatever, then you want to come in with your tools, with the predicted highs and lows, uh, and really use this to guide you over the course of the trade. And you see just how exceptional these levels are, uh, and even for uh, short-term price, uh, price targets. So hitting these predicted highs intraday uh, really helps you understand where you want to buy, but also where you may want to sell intraday. Uh, so just a really good guide. And again, working the same way, whether it's to the upside or the downside, whether you're going long, going short. But I tell you guys right now, there's not a whole lot of things out there to go short on. You want to be trailing stops and really just enjoying this ride up as a lot of these trades and uh, uh, markets hit new highs. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, this has been it. I, I hope you guys are all doing well out there in the markets. Uh, be sure to leave any questions or comments that you have uh, in the areas provided. But uh, for me, that is it, guys. You know, this has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for this week on October 13th, 2017, a special Friday the 13th edition. Best of luck to you traders out there in the markets. Thanks for watching and bye for now.